Now that we measure the ingredients, we're going to mix them together. When we do a stretch and fold process, we don't mix in the traditional sense. We're just trying to get all the flour wet. We aren't even trying to mix it terribly well. That'll be taken care of in the stretch and fold. So I just reach in. Sorry about the sign. I'm having trouble breathing today. And just mix things together. It's going to be a rough, ragged dough at the end of this. Calling it a dough might even be a little bit too optimistic or a little bit too generous. Quite often I'll use a technique you can't use when it's lying on your lap, uh, making kitty dough. It's about the fastest way. I lift the dough out of the way to see if there's any flour that hasn't gotten wet yet. I just want all the flour incorporated and wet. Once we've gotten there, I'll take the excess of dough off my hands. And at that point, <coughs> cover it with saran wrap. And there's a little bit more flour. As you can see, this is a very ragged, unfinished dough, and that's just fine. The development will occur in the stretches and folds that will happen later. So, in 45 minutes, after it's sat for 45 minutes, we'll go to the next step.